good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with another AEW Supreme Collection review on AEW Supreme Edition Series 1, Dr. Britt Baker. Very excited for this figure review. As you guys know, yesterday, we did cover Cody Rhodes' Supreme figure, the first ever AEW Supreme action figure from Jazzwares, and it was a great success. If you guys missed that video, please go check it out. I would greatly appreciate it. But today, we're back with our first ever female talent, and it is Dr. Britt Baker, who is no stranger to the AEW action figure line as we have many many attires and looks of Britt Baker and we are adding another one here and I'm very excited for this one because if you guys notice it is in the Pittsburgh Steelers gear I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan and also her chase figure was similar to this but this one is not a chase right it's just a straight up release so now I can have a loose version I want to get a loose version of the chase figure but this is great because now I will have a not only a chase version but an upgraded chase version because this figure is going to be a lot better than this one I can tell already and I'm super excited for it man but as you guys know the front viewing packaging of the AEW Supreme line is just so good like look how great this figure looks in package AEW Supreme up top you have a beautiful look at the figure inside the AEW stage portal you got a shot of the figure Dr. Britt Baker down here 13 pieces over here on the side you have all of her accessories here Britsburg t-shirt you got number two series one on the back you have another image of Dr. Britt Baker there Supreme collection where she wore this gear you got the women championship all the good stuff signature of course on the other side you have the rest of the accessories that you get in this pack very excited for the legs of this one like i i'm very excited to have like a street gear and a wrestling gear in one figure and i can't wait to break it all down but that is the complete packaging of Britt baker supreme collection series one man let's crack her out of her packaging and find out what the hell this figure is all about so here is Dr. Britt Baker out of her packaging, looking pretty swell. I do have quite a few gripes with this figure, man. We're going to dive into all those things, of course, as well as take a look at the greatness of this figure. And could this be the best AEW women's figure we've ever seen? That that remains to be seen. We'll have to do that and see that. I'm trying to think off the top of my brain what's the best figure right now. I know Thunder Rosa was up there. I wanted to say that I think her unrivaled 10 figure was really good as well. How will this one compare? We're going to find out here today, man. But if you guys would like to grab this figure, go over to Ring Cycle. Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Very excited to dive into this review, dive into the accessories, dive into the figure itself. The Pittsburgh Steelers gear looks freaking sick. As a Steelers fan, this is amazing for me. I, I love it. As you guys know, I love white gear and all of that stuff as well. So this wrapped up into one figure is insane, you know? So I, I think I'm all aboard that. That is excellent for me. I love it a whole lot. But with all those things being said, man, let's dive into the accessories of the Britt Baker. Take a look at the figure and see what this one is comes out to be. So for Britt Baker's accessories, man, as a Supreme Collection figure, you get quite a bit as you guys can see here. Now, let's just start off. Let's start with a t-shirt. You know, it's right here. It's big and bold. As you guys can see, it does say, what What the hell is this? As you guys can see, it says, welcome to Britsburg. It's got the nice logos on there. You got the skyline of Pittsburgh back there. Shop AEW down there. Looks pretty good. It is Velcro in the back. And I don't trust this one. You know, I'm not going to trust any t-shirt. I don't trust any shirt from Jazzwares right now until it's like proven. I don't know how the hell I'm going to prove it. I, I may have to have like a figure that I test, you know what I'm saying? Just a basic that just eats all the stainage until I just, you know, until I, I trust the, you know, trust the shirt completely. I'm just not going to do it. Maybe I heard people are washing these and it's like getting the ink out and then they're good to go. I don't know, man. I, it's just ridiculous. Just give me a shirt that doesn't leak. I'm glad we get the shirt though, even though it's useless. It's just jokes, but we also get the AEW Women's Championship. Now you guys will notice we did get this with the AEW Unrivaled 10 Britt Baker and and look at this difference, man. Holy cow. I just reviewed the AEW 10 Britt Baker, and this, I said it in my review that they need to be shrunk down, the new women's championship, even though this isn't even the women's championship anymore. Yeah, we're a bit we're a bit behind there, but they did they did fix it. It's a lot better, a whole lot better. This is uh, a much better representation of the newer women's championship that's already gone again, but you, you know, you get the point. The only title that's really updated for us is what the World Tag Titles and the AEW World Championship, but this looks a lot better. I'm very glad they decided to fix that and i guess if you guys want the updated women's championship you're going to have to buy the supreme collection brit or i guess it doesn't matter because we don't have the updated updated but if you want a smaller more representation version of the championship you got to buy the supreme collection outside of that we do get interchangeable heads and the first head sculpt is this like determined head sculpt and you guys are gonna see here look at this shish right here look at this like glue that's around the hairline right there that is pretty unacceptable now this 
figure does not look like Britt Baker to me. I feel like the eye makeup or something could be fixed. I think that's what it is. Like the eye makeup is preventing it from totally looking like Britt Baker. I think that the smiling head's probably the best one, or maybe it's this one, like the smirking head, maybe. But these two heads are very similar. You guys can see you have like a pissed off determined, you have a smirk, and then you have the smiley head sculpt. But that that damn glue, that factory glue right there pisses me off. But she does have darker hair. They leave out the highlights, man. They really need to include this, the highlights in these figures because I think it would help the figure a lot. But I may customize all three of these heads. First of all, get the glue off and then add the eye makeup. Maybe add some darker lipstick because that's what she had during this, or at least on the back of the packaging, she had darker lipstick. And add some like gold or glitter around the eyes just to add to the likeness. But this looks like my eighth grade math teacher. I'm not going to show her to you because I feel like it would be a breach of privacy and I think that'd be, you know, that just wouldn't be cool. So I'm telling you, just take my word for it. This looks just like her. This head sculpt right here is insane. It looks just like her. I think she's like 37 or something or 36 now. She was very young when she taught me in, in middle school, but looks just like her. That's crazy. We do have the interchangeable part or the jacket accessory. It is just a rubber vest. I guess you could technically, you could use this as a rubber vest for the figure, but you got the silver BBs there with the black and the gold. Very, very cool details. Lacking some paint here. I think this is supposed to be painted like the stripes on the jersey. I'm pretty sure. It's supposed to have like this inner part supposed to be gold. So there are some things you could do to customize this figure and make it look better. You got the Pittsburgh Steelers logos and diamonds and beams. You got DMD in big bold letters. You got Britsburg. You got the skyline of Pittsburgh down there. Nice details going on. And then you also have the sleeves of the jacket that look like the Pittsburgh Steelers jersey in gold with white and black. You just got the same star pattern slash beams going down the sides there with the stripes. Very, very clean. Like, holy crap, dude. This is awesome. I'm usually not one to like the molded arms, but all this is, is sculpted and texturized and it looks and feels really, really good on the figure. So that brings us to the other interchangeable arms. And this is our bare arms or non-jacket arms. And you guys can see on the right hand, you have the black wrist tape, you got the black hand tape, and you do have like the relaxed slash slapping arms. And you can just, you know, plug these in here like so. And now she's in wrestling gear and, you know, she can do all the different things. And then if you guys want the jacket on there, you just unplug the arms and then you will take the rubber coat and you will plop it over this, you know, get that going. And then you can take, take the arms, plug them in here and then take the other arm. There you go. So look how nice that looks. And you can use this for the wrestling gear or the street gear, which we'll get into a moment after we cover the figure. But look how good that looks, man. That looks just awesome. I love the way that looks. Very, very clean. Very, very good. It looks good on the figure and everything like that, even though it's lacking a little bit of details as far as, you know, like the, the like the jet. I don't even know what the, what do they call it? Like the flap right there. It's, you know, it's not, that's not the appropriate name. But you guys get the point. And then outside of that, you also get your interchangeable hands. Now, one thing I want you guys to notice is that you get two relaxed slash slapping hands. The exact hands. These are the exact hands. Nail polish, all of it is the exact same. You get, I do like that they included a right hand with tape and a right hand without tape, just in case you want to use this hand for the jacket. Or you could put this in here and have just one arm with black wrist tape, maybe acetone that off if you wanted to or something. So that's pretty cool. You also get your gloved lock jaw hand, which is pretty cool. We saw that with her in Match Series 1 figure. Very shocking, but we get a pair of fists, which look really good with the nail polish. Very clean on these hands, too. The hands look really, really clean. And then you get the DMD hands. So instead of including another, like two of these hands, they should have gave, you know, another DMD hand. So you would have had, you know, for either side there. But we did get that with the Unrivaled 10 figure, and I'm pretty sure this is the same nail polish from the Unrivaled 10. So you can use those hands over on the Supreme. It's just a fact of the fact of the matter there. But you guys know it's not over because they included a microphone every damn time, Brad. You're not going to get a figure without a microphone. Just, it's microphones all day. Every single day. Doesn't matter who you are, Brad, you're getting the microphone. So, Dr. Britt Baker adding to the collection of microphones. This makes get number 28, I think. All right, guys, so getting into Dr. Britt Baker at the top of the head sculpt. I like the head sculpt. This is probably my favorite one. Ah, maybe not. Maybe it's the determined one or the smirk one. I think I like the smirk one because it doesn't have the, eh, I probably like this one a little bit better, but it's not bad. Anyway, going down into the gear, you guys can see you do have all this textured stuff going on here on the women's top. I'm, I don't know for a fact, but I want to say this is the Unrivaled 10 top, right? It's just repainted. I could be wrong about that, though. You do have the Pittsburgh Steelers yellow, red, and blue from their logo. Very cool. You have the teeth on this side, and then you have the Steelers slash, you know, Pittsburgh stuff. On the opposite side, you got the BBs there with the medical stuff. Very sick, dude. Oh my god, her, de her gear is so detailed. As you guys can see here, it's got DMD replicating the Steelers logo. That, with teeth, like, god, how sick. Like, detail-oriented gear. I'm surprised the Pittsburgh Steelers aren't coming to crush this figure in all its dreams, but you guys can see 
the deco got a bit out of line there but they cheeked up Britt baker again you got britsburg there really cool in the gold black and white you got the bb there same logos there going across very very clean gear very sick gear as well i mean if you're not a steelers fan you probably aren't as hyped as me but this is very sick as a steelers fan so you got the skyline of pittsburgh there the same legs as we've seen before i love how they have the stripes from the jersey on the side here with like that same like snake reptile style pattern going on with the stripes you got the white going down you do have the same logos here and then you do have the white moon boots but it does say dmd on it and it has the ultimate addition to articulation here even though it is the smallest of articulation like barely any I feel like they could have brought that back more but not a huge deal you do have a small black line going around very oh dude just so freaking cool like i just oh my if you're not a sports or football fan or a steelers fan like i i mean you probably aren't as hyped as me you're probably like who gives a hoot but for me this is very sick but as you guys know this is not all you get right because it is a two-in-one figure but this is not like cody this is a wrestling gear and a street gear as you guys can see with these legs that the figure comes with so to put her in the street gear you will pop off at the waist just like we did with cody yesterday and you can plop this on here and now you have a street gear brit baker now you do have a couple options you can leave her like this you could put the britsburg shirt on or you can you know plug in the jacket so i mean i guess you could leave it like this i'll show you guys what that looks like yeah let's just do it now because we're not really going to review anything but the legs there and you guys can see what it totally looks like on the body as we break it all down let's just go ahead and take this off and then get this here plop this on you got that i did put the fisted hands in this right here so you just plop that in there and plop flip it around plop this in here dude look how sick this is oh my god the jacket looks so clean on these pants and then the details of the pants you guys can see there you got the bb on the like look at all this texturing on these skinny jeans and the belt you get the bb you got these thighs going down like you got the upper thigh cut you do have the lower shin cut now tell me why this is how come these legs have lower shin cut but these don't like we've seen these legs multiple times we always get boot cut but we never get something right here i guess it doesn't matter that much but you know it's just something to mention but you do have like the skinny jeans on here that is a really oh my good god in heaven that is a really loose knee it does stand though which is weird but you have the lower leg rotation and then you do have the black heels which look really good here and you have that little toe pivot right there look at that right there that's insane so i don't think you get eh, you don't really get an ankle you know pivot but you do get you know up and down and then you get the little toe pivot or up and down there so that's pretty cool but the jacket looks really sweet on this figure and then when you put the head sculpt on here look at that right there that's pretty damn cool bro yeah that's that's pretty sweet like this is this is a lot of bells and whistles going on with this figure now this leg is pretty bummy and she's on heels so probably gonna be a little difficult to stand up but yeah there there we go but i mean it's not bad i do love the look of the figure like in the jacket with the with the skinny jeans and everything like that that is pretty freaking cool you even got the back pockets on there this is really nice i i like this i wish it wasn't on heels i wish it was in like sneakers just so she could stand better but it does give you a bunch of different looks and you could probably put multiple people in this in in these pants you know what i mean so i know it has the bb but we could you could fix that nonetheless let's get into some brit baker figure comparisons so very brit baker figure comparisons here is the unmatched series one on the left the unrivaled series 10 the supreme collection series one and the ringside exclusive blood and guts and i think it's really cool to see all of these up next to each other you know like play you know just just seeing different gears of, of the same superstar all in one is really cool i definitely like the pinless joints that we're getting here i don't know if this head goes on here more but it's almost like she's taller than her other ones or something like that or maybe i just push it down a little bit more i can't tell completely but nah, i don't know it seems like that head's a little bit bigger or something like that or that it's taller which i don't know why that would be the case you know what i mean so i i don't know but it is cool to see all these i would say that since unmatched series one they've gotten significantly better this is the extra blood and guts head i don't know where the original is somewhere in a box or something but it's really cool to see all these i love the unrivaled 10 i think it's the best Britt baker and then with the supreme i think the supreme does beat it slightly but the unrivaled 10 is really damn good as well man it really really is i love the head sculpt I, it's a completely different sculpt than the supreme so we did just get we have a lot of different options for Britt baker heads but 
I think getting another one of these or taking one of these and painting it up to kind of look similar to this, but with yellow eye makeup instead of or gold or glitter or whatever the hell would look a lot better. But it is cool to see all these up next to each other. And I'm all for it, man. I really am all for it. I think it looks great. But there is one more other comparison that we need to do. I guess technically two because we have the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey right here. I still like, I think I still like the, I mean, you get a lot more different options with this one, right? Like I, I like this one in terms of customization and stuff, but in terms of playability, I still think this Ultimate Edition Ronda is probably the GOAT. But it is cool to see the Ultimate Ronda up next to the Supreme Brit. And to see where we go from here, I don't know what other women they're going to put in the Supreme Collection, to be honest with you. I feel like their unrivaled figures are pretty damn good. If you could get them to pinless joints, then it would be a ball game probably. But here is Adam Cole. If you guys wanted to see what the new Supreme Edition Brit looks like up next to Adam Cole, you want to display them together or whatever. We are getting the unrivaled very soon, but I did want to see what the Ultimate Edition WWE women's figures would look like up next to Britt Baker here but oh, yeah we never did articulation god get out of here what are we doing for the articulation right here man she can look down pretty good not up because of the hair of course but she does have a pretty good arm rotation here she does have a butterfly joint as well which is really really cool like look how far back she can reach and she can reach across her whole body and touch her shoulder so that is really nice there you get the bicep cut double jointed arm that's not loose the the elbows aren't really flimsy either you get a you get a hinge right here in the wrist and a rotation you do get pretty good good diaphragm bend right here left and right ab crunch is eh you guys know how the women's figures are though can rotate all the way around really wish they would fix you know ab crunch at some point but ball joints out there upper thigh cut double jointed knee right there and you also have boot rotation little toe pivot there and you have a decent little ankle rocker right there but the articulation is very nice i enjoy this figure a lot i think overall it's a special one i think it's the best aew women's figure they've done it's not without its faults though but uh still really damn good and i I like it you know go Steelers but I think that pretty much wraps up our Britt Baker AEW Supreme Series number one action figure review I had a lot of fun with the figure I will say there's a lot of pluses to the figure and there are some minuses you guys saw that the glue on the on the couple head sculpts you know with the with the, where the hair connects there was some loose glue there I feel like the legs especially on these promo street attire legs on my left leg is super loose you guys saw how that was I felt like that was pretty bummerific I, I don't like that at all I think the jacket on arms and the jacket is really really nice the head sculpts look like my eight, my eighth grade math teacher i mean that's just straight up fact i don't think that they're horrible head sculpts i'd like to see more highlights in the hair well they're on rivaled series 10 it was more of a lighter brown and then on this figure it's more of a darker brown but they need to have like highlights and streaks and stuff like that in the hair because you know these ladies work hard on the hair man they, they pay a lot of money to get their hair done and look good and they need to get that replicated in figure form but i feel like the lack of eye makeup you know without the glittery goldish on the eyes and the eye lids i think that kind of takes away from the figure i don't know if i could surgery that or fix that because i think that would really add a lot to the figure we'll have to see you know how, how that goes and everything like that and i know like if her eyes are wide open you don't see it as much but i think it kind of takes away from the figure and i felt like that would help it some maybe if you just put like a streak of it maybe i don't know it helped with the likeness or gave it like darker lipstick maybe that would help with the likeness but the head sculpts are different than the unrivaled 10 they actually are all three of them are different they are not the same in any capacity the hairstyle is different her expression is a little different and so i think the unrivaled 10 is the best head i really do I, I think that is something that i can say fairly i love the gear i think the gear is beautiful but i you know i'm, I'm a steelers fan if you're a steelers fan I, it's an automatic cop i think if you're a Britt baker fan it's the best Britt baker it really is i i'd say that i love the unrivaled 10 i may even buy an extra unrivaled 10 and paint up the head to make it look like this gear you know to match this gear just because i like the likeness better and i think it would really make the figure pop but i love the figure i really do but it does fall short in a couple areas the big biggest thing is that left leg looseness i that left leg looseness it gets on my last nerve and i actually noticed that with the supreme cody as well the legs are a little bit loose it's like the pinless legs having that pinless look has has affected the tightness of the joints i think and maybe that's something they can figure out but i hope it's known i want that to be known i want you guys to know what you're getting here but i think this is a great figure i really do again i probably will paint up the the head sculpt or something just to add to it but the gear is really sick i like Britt baker i like the figure i think it is the best Britt baker especially with all the different stuff you get but that wraps up my review man thank you guys so very much for watching before we get out of here i do want to get into our random shout out so this shout out is going to go to spartan island 99 he says are these going to come to retail too they look big for a single fig and i do not know i know gamestop was doing a pre-order for these or something like that on their website i'm not sure if gamestop's going to carry these or what the deal is there i would love to see these at target or walmart you know maybe like two to a case per figure because i feel like you know i don't know how many random people are going to walk down the aisle and pay 50 or whatever it is 
prices for you know a single figure like this but i would absolutely buy them i would buy them absolutely you'd get no butts out of me brad i would absolutely buy them but the, the figures look really good and i think that you know I, I can't completely answer the question there because i'm not entirely sure just yet you know I, i'll have to see if jeremy can write me back and tell me if they're going to come to retail but they're definitely big and they definitely have a high price point but i think they're worth it and i love these figures i just think that they can't improve like every other spot in every other action figure line you know constant improvement constant you know getting better and grinding and all that but i'm getting out of here man shout out to sport now and i'm getting the hell out of here thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys and if you're not a steelers fan you cross the line i've been